We've got a big pansy trial going on at the moment, the edible violas. The whole viola family are all edible. They don't taste of much, but they um, look pretty. Um, and, and this is a new variety called Papilio, I think. Yes, and uh, very, very pretty with this sort of mauvey um, and purple and yellow flower, rather like the wild Viola Hartsies, which is over there, which self sows, but so a little bit similar, but just sort of slightly paler and prettier. And then the ones we're really excited about are these green flowered varieties, which um, just, I think, are absolutely fantastic and that one is called green goddess i'm pretty sure yep it is and then if you imagine that also mixed with i'm just going to bring you another one um which is a brown called irish molly and so you've got the greeny yellowy one and then the sort of browny yellowy one um, and they're just so pretty, just scattered over a salad. And when you mix it with the papillo variety and, of course, the original one, which is here, which just self sows here, and we just line them up around the edge of the bed. I've got filthy hands because of gardening. but So that's Viola Heartsease. That's papillo. Irish Molly and Green Goddess and they are all edible as are so many all the all the polyanthus family are edible so the um, the beautiful green Francisca the gold lace polyanthus the primrose in the lanes cowslips they're all edible and so you know starting in the beginning of the year we tend to use viola heart seeds for January and February because from an autumn sowing it flowers right the way through the autumn and winter then in the spring we move on to these different violas and any of the polyanthus. And then in May and June we move on to Calendula Indian Prince and Borage, both blue and white. And the Ancusa um, varieties as well, either the annual or the biennial. And then in July and August we move on to nasturtiums and any of the dahlias. So all the dahlias are edible and you can just scatter them over a salad and have a really lovely mix of colours, like the Venetian daily mix because you use such a wonderful mix of colours in a salad bowl. Nasturtiums of course also or, um, for August, September, October, November. My favourite is Tip Top Mahogany but there are lots and I'm trialling a pink one this year which looks rather amazing. Really bright pink. And then in December, January, you move back to Viola Heartsease again. So you've got year-round edible flower and they're all so easy to grow and they're so prol prolif prolific just the more you pick the flowers the more they flower so um, with all those things because they're annual and biennial so that is just then the, the, the finish to a salad